clear that the decision to ban uh, pure ICEs is a hard time to access to the pure EVs. The electric vehicle revolution might be hitting a speed bump, and it's coming straight from the CEO of Stellantis, Carlos Tavares. Is the dream of a clean electric future screeching to a halt? Are electric vehicles a financial burden for the middle class? And will only the strongest car companies survive the EV wars? Let's find out. Electric cars are seen as heroes in the fight against pollution because they don't emit harmful gases like traditional cars. But hold on a minute. Are they really as green as they seem? Well, it turns out there's a problem lurking under the hood. You see, these electric cars are getting a bit too heavy, and that's causing some big issues. The boss of Stellantis, a big car company, is now speaking up about it. Electric cars are getting bloated. Not in how they look, but in how much they weigh. And this isn't just about looks, it's a big deal for safety and how well they work. Building these cars is like trying to juggle a bunch of heavy balls. Automakers must balance making them go far enough on a charge while also keeping them light enough so that they're not too heavy to move. Carlos Taveras, the CEO of Stellantis, has a serious suggestion. Let's cut the weight of electric car batteries in half over the next 10 years. Right now, these batteries are like hefty backpacks strapped to the car. They can weigh as much as a thousand pounds. Imagine lugging around that much extra weight just to drive a little farther. It's like carrying an elephant on your back just to go for a walk. And Taveras is spot on. Adding all this weight isn't good for the planet. It takes a ton of extra energy to move heavy cars around. In fact, for every 100 pounds a car gains, its efficiency drops by about 2%. So if we can slim down these batteries, we could save a lot of energy. That means fewer trips to the charging station, less wear and tear on the roads, and safer driving. But why are electric car batteries so chunky in the first place? Well, it's all about range anxiety, the fear of running out of juice before reaching your destination. To ease this worry, car companies pack in bigger and bigger batteries, so drivers can go farther on a single charge. It's like throwing extra snacks in your bag just in case you get hungry later. But all this extra weight comes at a cost. It makes the cars less efficient and harder to drive. So what's the solution? It's not as simple as just putting these cars on a diet. Automakers must find a delicate balance. They need to make batteries smaller and lighter without sacrificing how far the car can go on a single charge. It's like trying to bake a cake with just the right amount of sugar. Too much and it's too sweet, too little and it's bland. The next generation of electric car batteries needs to be super speedy to charge up and packed with energy to keep the car light but still make it go far. It sounds tough, right? Well, it's a bit like trying to fit a whole week's worth of clothes into a tiny suitcase without making it too heavy to carry. But there's hope. Some cool new battery tech might just save the day. Imagine if we can make batteries that charge up in a flash and pack a punch in terms of energy, all while being light as a feather. It sounds like something out of a science fiction movie, but it's within reach. One idea is something called solid state batteries. Instead of using squishy liquids like current batteries, these ones use solid stuff. This could make them lighter and hold more energy. It's like swapping out a heavy water balloon for a light weight beach ball. But wait, there's more. Scientists are also cooking up new materials that can make batteries even better. One of these materials is called graphene. It's basically a super thin layer of carbon atoms arranged in a fancy pattern. This stuff has the potential to supercharge batteries, making them charge faster and last longer. It's like adding rocket fuel to your car's tank. And it's not just about the batteries themselves. We can also make electric cars more efficient by giving them a sleeker design. Think of it like making a race car super aerodynamic to slice through the air with ease. By cutting down on wind resistance, we can make electric cars use less energy, which means they can go even farther on a single charge. But why bother with all of this? Well, Carlos Taveras has a pretty good reason. He thinks we need a major breakthrough in battery chemistry. Basically, we need to make batteries lighter without sacrificing their power. If we can do that, electric cars will not only be more efficient, but also rely less on hard-to-find materials like lithium. Taveras says we need way more charging stations, and they should be easy to find and and easy to use. Right now, it's like a treasure hunt trying to find somewhere to charge your electric car. But building all these charging stations has its own problems. It could harm the environment, so we've got to be careful. But not everyone at the forum agreed with Tavares. Robert Scheer, a professor 
from Brazil thinks we should focus more on biofuels. He says that while rich countries love the idea of electric cars, there are still lots of people around the world who don't have electricity at all. For them, switching to biofuels might be a better option because it's more practical and doesn't rely on having a power grid. Then there's talking about green hydrogen. Some people think it could be the next big thing in fuel, but Tavares isn't so sure. Even if making hydrogen is clean, it's still really expensive. Right now, it costs twice as much as electric cars, so it might not be the best option for everyone just yet. Matthias Schmeiser says we need to stop focusing so much on everyone owning their own car. He thinks it's way better to have good public transportation in cities instead. This way, we can cut down on pollution and other problems. But Carlos Tavares says it's not that easy. He thinks we need to talk to everyone about why changing how we get around is so important. Not everyone realizes how big of a deal it is, like Schmeiser does. Something cool Stellantis did was buy a company called ShareNow. It's a popular car sharing service in Europe that used to belong to BMW and Mercedes-Benz. This move shows that Stellantis is serious about finding new ways for people to share rides instead of owning their own cars. Tavares says ShareNow has really taken off since Stellantis took over, which is great news for reducing how many cars we need. This change to more eco-friendly and shared ways of getting around is a big deal for Stellantis and the whole car industry. It shows they're ready to try new things to help the planet and make transportation better for everyone. As the way we get around changes, it's really important for everyone involved, like car companies, government folks, and people who care to work together. We need to create a future where moving around is easy and doesn't harm the environment. To make this happen, we need to do a bunch of things. We should make public transportation better and more widespread so more people can use it. We should also encourage sharing rides instead of everyone owning their own car. And we need to keep making electric cars and other eco-friendly vehicles better and more available. But it's not just about the big stuff. We also need to talk to people in communities and help them understand why these changes are important. We can do this through programs that teach about eco-friendly transportation and by having conversations with everyone involved. Stellantis buying ShareNow is a good example of how car companies can change with the times. They're not just making cars anymore. They're also helping people share rides. This shows that they're serious about making transportation better for everyone while also being good for the planet. What do you think about all of this? Let us know in the comments down below and like, share, and subscribe to The Bearded Techie for more videos just like this.